by a show of hands. Is anyone familiar with the Sanchin? A couple people? Oh, excellent. Wow. Okay. Um, some people play guitar or um, piano, but crazy me, I had to go and pick the Sanchin. This is the first instrument I've ever learned, and so far the only one. I'm a PhD student at UCSB in the history department, and I study early modern Japan, um, samurai, geisha, kabuki theater, all of that good stuff, as well as the history of Okinawa. So when I was presented with the opportunity about a year and a half ago to take classes to learn how to play this instru uh, Okinawan instrument, I decided to give it a try. Um, if we're familiar with the sanshin, then probably a number of people are familiar with the shamisen, maybe? Um, the shamisen is a three-stringed banjo-like instrument that's one of the standard instruments associated with the geisha and also with kabuki theater. Uh, the sanshin is the Okinawan instrument that the Japanese san uh, the Okinawan sanshin is the instrument that the Japanese shamisen developed out of. Um, Okinawa, which is today a part of Japan, uh, was up until the late 19th century an independent country, uh, a kingdom with close trading ties to China, Korea, Japan, and Southeast Asia. The Chinese Sanxian was introduced into Okinawa in the late 14th century uh, and developed into the Sanxin, and so here we have it. Um, there's a Sanxian in the middle, and then the Sanxin and the Shamisen. Um, the word Sanxin just means three strings. It's pretty literal. Uh, the really nice ones, the, really, the traditionally made ones, are made from a sort of lacquered ebony with silk strings and snakeskin for the body of the instrument. Mine's a bit cheaper. Uh, it's made from a cheaper wood, though it might be real lacquer, I'm not sure. Um, Nylon or polyester strings are pretty standard today, and a plastic skin for the body. Um, ironically, even though Okinawa is famous um, within Japan for its venomous snakes, the Okinawan snakes are actually too small to make sanshin from, so for hundreds of years they've been imp importing python skin from Vietnam and other parts of Southeast Asia to make skins for the instruments. Um, the tuning pegs are carved from the same sort of wood um, and are essentially just jammed in there. These are not screw pegs like on a guitar, um, so it can get loose pretty easily. And you'll often see performers uh, adjusting in the middle of a set or even in the middle of a song. And finally, I guess, there's the question of the pick. Uh, it's called a chimi in Okinawan, meaning a claw. Traditionally, they're made of ivory or water buffalo horn, so I'm pretty sure mine is made of just cheap wood. Um, I'm not very familiar with music terminology and such, but I understand that the scale of notes played on the sanshin is very similar to that used in Indonesian gamelan, which is what we're looking at here. Um, in a moment, I'll play some, so if you're familiar with gamelan, then maybe you'll see what I mean. I started out playing uh, sanshin, I started out taking sanshin classes at the University of Hawaii last year, uh, which is pretty much the only place in this country to study anything Okinawan um, at an official university setting. Um, and then this past summer, I was fortunate to find a teacher in New York City who offered private lessons. Uh, my teacher in Hawaii only taught classical Okinawan music, which is very slow and deliberate. Um, let's see if we can play some before the, the thing changes. First, I found it too slow and, frankly, boring. Um, but as I kept practicing, I got into it more, and I found that it really has a certain refined beauty to it. The classical music demands that you play it precisely, perfectly, just like in cello or violin or anything like that. Um, and I'm not quite there yet. But, it, it, uh, but similarly to Western orchestra, it has um, a sort of controlled, refined beauty and power to that style. Um, my teacher in New York, who we see here, specializes in folk and pop music. So with her, I learned some faster, looser folk songs. Um, I'm going to play the first verse or so of one for you. Um, this is called Asado Ya Yunta, and it's the most popular, most well-known folk song in Okinawa. What you're seeing up on the screen is the notation, or the tabs for it, in traditional Okinawan notation. Each box is one unit of time, and each character represents a different note. Uh, they don't really follow a pattern. It's not as if each note is sort of one, two, three. You just have to know which character means which finger position. Um, so anyway, I will play Asadu Yunta until my time is up. <laughs> Thank 